Hello. So here we are day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving usually represents, uh, kicks off the holidays. It's a day to be thankful. It's a day to remind us of the pilgrims and what the pilgrims supposedly ate. Yeah. It's also a day to kick off anxiety. Because it triggers a lot of stuff. Meaning seeing people we don't really want to see. Or maybe we want to see a few of them, but not all of them. But everyone does it out of obligation and then tries to hold it together during that day. Or some maybe just don't show up to prove their point. But either way, it triggers a lot of um, angst and anger. And it represents financial stress. It represents that they don't have freedom to choose. They feel obligated to do something and be with people that they really rather not be with. Now, this isn't just for everybody. I mean, you can have a mixed bag of a lot of things, but either way, it represents the end of the year. It represents uh, a significant mark at the end of the year, uh, which then brings back what happened the year before <laughs> and uh, how far have I come or not come. Uh, in my uh, thoughts of growth, you know? So um, sometimes it's just not a happy time. It's just not. So 2020 represents uh, what the hell? And so right now, even here in the D.C. area, we're on terrible... Uh, restrictions of no more than 10 and if you don't live in the house don't go in the house I mean but it's okay if you wear a mask and go to little stores big stores and buy stuff but don't you dare go into someone's house that's probably more sanitary than these small and big stores if you don't live there so now all of that is thrown on top of kicking off the holidays. So we have a couple choices because remember reactions come from reacting without being grounded. So, oh my God, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Well, actually I did. Anyway, when you come from a place of calm and grounding and you're always gonna hear me say that, you come from a place of responding. So if you can take some steps back and expand your breath and then expand your energy field and try to find some peaceful place of happiness and acceptance before you walk forward into these celebrations. And then there's some of us that just really haven't seen that many people and it'll be kind of nice. Like, let me just give you an example of my family. There will be 20. And my parents are 88 and 89, and they're in fantastic shape. They walk every day. My mom was very active with her church, you know, um, plays chess, blah, 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 blah. My dad the same way. And this COVID thing has locked them down a lot, but has also locked them down with the fear of what they hear on uh, media, you know, and that changes every day. So in order for them to come to Thanksgiving to see their children and their grandchildren and great-grandchildren, we're doing this all outside. So the good news is my sister has a built-in family room with a fireplace and kitchen outside, but it's open. It has a roof, but it's open. So they're going to cover up both sides and have heaters but because there's 20 of us, they're also going to do it in the three car garage, but it's gonna pour down rain. So I don't know about you, but yeah, my hair doesn't look good when it's wet. So I'll probably stay in one place or the other. 
And then we have to wear masks if we come into the house to go to the bathroom or to grab the food to bring it outside. So I'm sure, knowing my sister, that she's stressing. She's stressing. Plus, just to put a dinner together for 20 people is a lot because everything is timing, right? And for any of you who have been a host and a hostess for any kind of dinner parties or social gatherings or whatever, you know you have no taste buds. You're exhausted. And cleanup takes a couple days and then it takes a couple days to recuperate so I get all that I, I do I do I do I get I get how that can really stress people so I guess really the point of me saying all that is own whatever is coming up let it come up don't feel blame and shame because you're ticked off that you know, all this is occurring, no matter how it falls under the umbrella, it's creating angst, anxiety, anger, fear, and yet at the same time, love, you know? So if you're those big balls of emotions, let them flow, okay? Find a place where it can be compatible so that you can move forward and enjoy the things of that day. Because if you really do look back at last year, a lot of the emotional angst was there, but COVID wasn't there. So do you see how quickly things can change in 11 months or 12 months? They can flip on a dime. And then maybe some of those beings that you were with last Thanksgiving are not with us this Thanksgiving, or may not be with us next Thanksgiving. So maybe tap back into your heart and just meet people for where they are. But as an energy body worker, I'm going to tell you, don't take your shiat of unable to deal with your energies into that mix. Clean it up first. Align it, clean it up, forgive yourself, find a place of harmony and compatibility within your physical self okay mental physical heart energetic the whole thing they're all it's all one okay get it together because it's very very unfair of you to take all that think you've got it all toned up but your energy field the look in your eye the way your mouth might be tight when you're speaking Whatever it may be, maybe you're not looking someone in the eye, whatever, whatever it is. You don't need to spew that she ought that you cannot react and respond to with compatibility and love and, and harmony onto everybody else. It ain't fair, folks. Because then you go and you trigger somebody else. And everybody avoids the elephants, elephants in the room. Okay. Hmm. Pull it together. Own yourself. Know that you are love. You are loved and you are love and you can certainly share love. Don't share the shiat, share the love. Be present, observe. Maybe you may see and feel things completely differently. And isn't that a wonderful thing to be thankful for? If you have any comments or anything, just leave me one down below. Please like, please subscribe, please share.